in this ReWorld Engine tutorial. We are continuing to look around the ReWorld Engine user interface. Today, I'm showing you some additional UI components that will help with your game development such as adjusting your game settings, other engine settings, and viewing script output logs. First, let's take a look at game settings. Click on game settings from the work bar. And over on the right side of the screen, all the game settings that you can edit are shown in the properties panel. If we have a closer look at the properties, here you can edit the size of the mini map, as well as the distance. In the game settings section, the max number refers to the maximum number of players allowed for the server. The fallen parts destroyed height is a value, which refers to the distance your character can fall before they die. You can also change the gravity if you wish and toggle the real-time voice chat in game. With the voice chat option enabled, this will allow players in your game to talk to each other. These are options so you can mute your microphone or mute all voice chat. Replace the game loading image here, by uploading a new resource image. This is used, as the loading image for your game. Scrolling down the properties panel, if you would like to use the minimap in your game, tick the box here to enable it. Once you have enabled the minimap, running the game will display it in the top left corner of the screen. All the objects in your game, will show on the minimap, as the player moves closer to them. Let's explore the minimap further. Click this download button and choose confirm. This downloads the minimap UI and scripts to your game, which is useful if you wish to make changes to these. In the work bar, under starter UI, there is now a UI panel called small map. To change the minimap position, I can now select it and drag it into position as shown. Okay. Let's look at the performance panel. Click on the hamburger menu, then come down to view, and tick the box for performance panel. With the performance panel open, you can check the performance of your game. In this panel, you can see the game's memory usage, and how fast game objects are rendering. Next, I want to show you the script output log, and how to open it. From the hamburger menu, come down to view, and across to script output log. Tick the box to show the output log. This is the script output log. As an example, I'll create a quick script so that we can see some output showing in this log. This script is going to print out the text, hello reworld. Let's check this by running the game. You can see in the script output log, it has printed out the text hello reworld. And also, it has shown us the script location, name and line number. Script errors and warnings will also be displayed in the script output log. If I have an error in my script, the output will tell us which line number and the script name that has thrown the error. Close the script output log and let's take a look at the ReWorld Engine settings. In this settings section, you can turn the auto backup on or off and set the number of minutes between each backup. Adjusting the camera speed value affects how quickly you can move around in the ReWorld Engine. Setting this to a value like 25, will allow you to move around your game a little faster. Let's have a look at the help section of the ReWorld engine. From the hamburger menu, come down to help to find links to ReWorld resources, such as the API and video tutorial links, which will take you to the ReWorld website to view that information. You can also join the ReWorld developers group on Discord and stay up to date with the latest ReWorld information. The engine interface guide, We'll show you around the different areas of the ReWorld Engine interface. Simply go through the prompts by clicking on Continue. And as you can see, each part of the user interface is highlighted and explained in further detail. This is a useful tool to come back to when getting familiar with the UI components of the ReWorld Engine. That completes this user interface tutorial. Thank you for watching this ReWorld Engine tutorial. Stay tuned for more ReWorld tutorials. See you in the next one.